Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain conversion of Cartesian vector into cylindrical vector. See, in my last video, I have explained cylindrical coordinate system. And in that video, I have explained conversion of cylindrical coordinate into Cartesian coordinate. And I have explained conversion of Cartesian coordinate into cylindrical coordinate. But in this video, I'll explain conversion of Cartesian vector into cylindrical vector. There is a difference in between vector and coordinate. In this video, I'll explain you conversion of Cartesian vector into cylindrical vector. And at last, I'll solve one problem based on it. So let us begin this session with conversion process first. So first of all, you need to understand what is Cartesian vector. Let me take one example. Here, let us consider we have vector P that is there in form of Cartesian vector. So that will be AX into IX direction plus AY into IY direction plus AZ into IZ direction. And this is what Cartesian vector that we need to convert into cylindrical vector. Cylindrical parameters are R, Phi and Z. So we are dealing with to have a conversion and we need to have vector P in form of R, Phi and Z. So we are dealing with to have AR into IR direction plus A Phi into I phi direction plus A z into I z direction. So we are dealing with to convert this Cartesian vector into cylindrical vector. Right. Now I'll explain you entire process. See here, let us consider one point. And that point that we are viewing it from top U. So that is available somewhere over here. Right. Now with this point, if you observe, we have quarter cylinder over here. From top view, it is appearing somewhat like this, right? From top view, we have XY plane, you can observe. Now, here if you observe, we have radius. That radius is R. We have radius, that radius is R. And if you take trajectory on XY plane, then with respect to x axis on x y plane, this angle is phi. If you take trajectory on x y plane, then with respect to x axis, this angle is phi. Right. And this z coordinate, that is length of cylinder. So, length of cylinder, that is z over here. Right. Now, you need to understand. What are the direction which is there with IR, I phi and IZ and based on those directions, we can identify the value of AR, A phi and AZ. So here, what is AR direction? See AR direction, if I want to plot it from here, then it is there in radial direction. So you see it is there in radial direction. It is there in radial direction like this. This is IR direction. Let me note it down. Now let us try to understand what is the direction of phi. The direction of phi that is tangent to curve. Direction of phi that is tangent to curve. So tangent to curve from x to y direction. That is direction of phi. So it is appearing in this direction. You can observe. So this is I phi direction that is tangent to curve. So I phi that is tangent to curve from x to y direction, right. And see direction of z that is there in the direction of length of cylinder. So it is appearing in this direction. It is appearing in this direction, right. And if you carefully observe, see I R, I phi and I z, these directions are perpendicular to each other. Like we have direction of x, y and z that is perpendicular to each other. 
Similarly, IR, I5 and IZ, these three axes are perpendicular to each other. Right. Now from top view, if you observe, then here we have radial direction. Right. Here we have radial direction that is IR direction and tangent to curve. Tangent to curve from X to Y that is in this direction that is I5 direction and iz that is perpendicular to this page right so that will that will be dot over here so that is how directions are there now i'll explain you the process of calculation of ar a5 and az right so here if you want to identify ar that is radial component we will be finding ar that is radial component so the basic process is see vector p vector p dot ir vector p dot ir the ar component that is vector p dot ir means the component which is there in the direction of ir that is ar right so what is vector p vector p that is ax ix plus ay iy plus az iz and dot ir is there dot ir is there so now Separately, we need to have dot multiplication. So, AX into IX dot IR is there with us plus AY into IY dot IR is there with us plus AZ into IZ dot IR is there with us. Right. Now, based on angle based on angle we need to identify this dot multiplication so here first of all we need to identify angle of x and r so here if you observe see this is x axis and this is the axis of radial direction means direction of r so angle between x and r that is phi over here right so let me note it down here angle is phi if you observe this is what y axis and this is radial direction so angle between y and radial direction that is if this angle is phi then this angle will be 90 minus phi so here angle is 90 minus phi and angle between ir and z so here we have ir and we have iz so angle between ir and iz that is 90 degree so here we have 90 degree angle right now based on these angles we can easily say this ar that is ax into as per cos we will be having calculation the reason is dot multiplication explains what dot multiplication explains cosine component so angle is phi so ix dot ir that is cos phi here we have ay into iy dot ir angle is 90 minus phi so cos of 90 minus phi that is sin phi and here we have angle 90 so cos 90 is 0 so you don't need to write so ar that is there with us ax cos phi plus ay sin phi right so now we got the value of ar now let us find the value of a phi to identify the value of a phi we need to follow same steps right see a phi is how much a phi that is vector p dot i phi so what is vector p vector p is ax ix plus ay iy plus az iz and dot i phi that we are delivered to do right now here separately we will be doing dot multiplication so we'll be having ax into ix dot i phi plus ay into i y dot i phi plus az into iz dot i phi now we need to identify angle between x and phi angle between y and phi and angle between z and phi so here we have phi and here we have x so to understand angle let me take a trajectory so here we have a trajectory this is the direction of x we need to identify this angle right 
we need to identify this angle that is angle between pi and x see here we have angle phi this is 90 degree in total angle is 180 of this triangle so what is this angle this angle that has to be 90 minus pi right this angle that has to be 90 minus pi and see here this much angle that is 180 so what is this angle that will be 180 minus this much angle that is 90 minus pi so 180 minus 90 that is 90 minus minus plus pi so angle between phi and x axis that is 90 plus phi so let me note it down here we have angle that is 90 plus phi that is angle between x and phi now we need to identify angle between y and phi so y axis is this and phi is there in this direction so you need to take a trajectory of phi so that is happening somewhat somewhat like this then observe it is happening somewhat like this now if you carefully observe this trajectory right so this angle this angle that is exterior angle of this right this angle that is exterior angle of this means if this angle is pi then this angle has to be pi only so angle between pi axis and y axis that is phi so here we have angle that is phi and angle between z and phi so you see phi is there in this direction iz is there in this direction this angle is 90 so this angle is 90 right now see here we have ax into cos of 90 plus phi that we will be having cos of 90 plus phi that is minus sign so here we will be having minus ax sin phi here we have angle phi so we will be having ay cos phi and here we have 90 angle so cos 90 is 0 so this will be 0 and az that is equal in both so you don't need to convert az az is same for Cartesian vector and cylindrical vector. So AR calculation that is as per AX cos phi, AY sin phi and A phi calculation that is as per minus AX sin phi plus AY cos phi. Now we will solve one problem over here. So to understand problem here we have been given with Cartesian vector you can observe and we need to convert that into cylindrical vector right. So to convert this in cylindrical vector form first of all you need to have angle phi based on angle phi only we can convert this so what is angle phi see angle phi that is i have explained that in my earlier videos angle phi that is tan inverse y by x right so angle phi that is tan inverse y by x here we have x that is 2 root 3 and y that is 2 so 2 divided by 2 root 3 so we have 10 inverse 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3 10 inverse is how much it is 30 degree so now we have angle phi that is 30 degree right now we need to calculate ar first so what is ar ar is x component into cos phi x component is 2 root 3 so ar is ax cos phi plus ay sin phi and here ax that is 2 root 3 ax is 2 root 3 phi is 30 degree so cos 30 ay is 2 so 2 into sin 30 so 2 root 3 cos 30 what is cos 30 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and here we have sin 30 what is sin 30 that is half so this 2 is getting cancelled root 3 into root 3 that is 3 and this 2 is getting cancelled so 3 plus 1 that is 4 so we have ar that is 4 right now we need to identify a phi over here a phi calculation that i have explained what is a phi that is minus a x sin phi plus a y 
cos phi here we have all the values we just need to substitute that what is ax that is 2 root 3 so minus 2 root 3 sin 30 plus ay that is 2 2 cos 30 so minus 2 root 3 sin 30 is half plus 2 into cos 30 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so here this 2 is getting cancelled this 2 is getting cancelled minus root 3 plus root 3 that will be 0 so a phi is 0 and one should know a z that is as it is that is 4 only right so now we have all the coordinates we can represent this vector into cylindrical vector now so now our cylindrical vector is vector f that is a r that is 4 so a r into i r direction plus a phi into i phi direction plus a z into i z direction here a r that is 4 so 4 i r a phi that is 0 and a z that is 4 so plus 4 i z that is how i can represent this vector in form of cylindrical vector right so that is how basic process is there for a conversion and you need to remember these two equations for cylindrical vector See, these two equations are very essential a r that is a x cos phi plus a y sin phi and a phi that is minus a x sin phi plus a y cos phi and one should know the basic process and if you do this practice one or two times then definitely you can easily solve this in examination but remember how to follow the process right thank you so much for watching this video still if anything that i'd like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video